Okay. Shape Grammar. It's a game inspired by the traditional tangram puzzle that will test your reflexes and visual spatial ability. Oh god, this is gonna be a bad time for me. <laughs> Pick the correct shape and rotate and rotation to pass through the never-ending obstacles. Try to get the highest score and be awesomer than your friends. Best played with a gamepad, you do not have, but that's okay. Keypad controls supported. Thank god. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna read the controls. Does this need a second player? I don't believe it needs a second player. Alright, cool. Okay, so while Z roto rotates, directional arrows change shape. Down arrow starts the game. Okay, I'm just gonna jump right in then. Yes, I will. I just want to make sure I know what I'm doing. Oh, there are menu controls. Okay. Pause the directional arrows. Let's do this. Oh. Yeah, that felt. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay, that was stupid. I can see the shapes down here now on the right. I was not paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I should look at what I'm doing. Let's try this again. Are there any music? Oh, okay. So there is music. It's actually fairly thematic. I like it. Excuse me. I like to see too. Okay, cool. The sound effects are pretty good. It does laugh at you when you lose. Okay, it laughs at you. So it's just like everyday life for me. No, no! Ah! Oh. This is way too much going on at once. No. Oh, just barely. So it's instantaneous. <sighs> so this is a more complex version of uh, the turbo thingy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's responsive, it's a fun game, but I am ready to lose my mind already. Not the game's fault, though. I like this music. Oh. oh. Shh. Yeah, it's, it gets really complex once you have the second pad involved. Yeah. I'm wondering, like, if it, it gives enough time. It does move fairly quick. I think this would be a lot easier with the gamepad. Hmm. I agree with that. It would still be hard, but not this hard. I see. I mean, I would love to blame the game, but this doesn't seem fair. Uh -huh. no. <laughs> you what can do it! score? Five. I can get five in, that's... I just want to crush this game. Please don't do that. <laughs> the game, not the per not the computer. This is just me, but the left orientation thing seems fairly random. Hmm. No, it seems to make sense. Never mind.
Okay. Six. I got my high score up a bit. <laughs> you got it. Nice. Okay. I don't feel so bad. I'm looking at the best scores and I'm like nine number ten is nineteen. I don't think I'm gonna get quite up there though. So yeah, w once you think that you have, uh, you had enough. No, one more time. All right, never mind. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I, I'm wearing headphones makes it hard to hear you. No, it's okay. <laughs> one, one more time, but now, now I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I liked it. It made. It was just hard. I want to say a gamepad would have helped mm -hmm. um, but I don't know if it would have helped me get up to the top 10 to be honest and I think that's partly me as well one thing I'm not exactly a fan of is um, the keypad orientation of what shape you're going to create on the right hand side which I assume it's right now it's directional arrow keys but mm -hmm. I assume that's mapped to your uh, you know buttons on the controller like, the fact that that always is random. You should probably give it a try. <laughs> Do you want to give it a try? I mean, it might be worth it. Yeah, but this the, the fact really that the <laughs> fact that it's random to me is not very not a good idea. Yeah. See, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Because you want to make sure that, especially for something like this, that definitely to me strikes me as playing a very rhythmic like game is the fact that you want to make sure that all the controls are predictable and um, whenever somebody loses it, it makes them think that it's their own fault <laughs> but in this case the fact that I have to now look at the bottom right hand screen and figure out um, what what button corresponds to which shape tells me and because it's always different based off of uh, every time you start the game right. that to me is bad. That to me is like you're forcing me to uh, look at the UI and um, re-memorize the mapping of my buttons. Yeah, it wasn't, so the actual shape wasn't so much a problem for me, the controls on the right, it was the orientation which changed which, with every one, mm -hmm. which threw me off. That I couldn't quite overcome. Do you mind if I j try playing the orientation part of it? That's the one part that makes me quite, that I have more questions about, and I just want to see if I can play a little bit and see if I can. Uh, do you want to do the WASD? I do the direction, or which side are you talking about? Oh no, no, no! I'm talking about the WASD. I was just okay. curious. Um, yeah, if you don't mind me just playing for a little bit. I mean, you started off nicely, which is good. Okay, that's not fair that he has the same shape like three times in a row. Oh, okay. It's really just that I'm bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> it's tricky with the, the shapes changing. Oh, I think your orientation does something Oh, I'm seeing though. He only has to ch press or change one, either the shape or the oh, orientation. Okay. He's not changing both. I thought both were up. Ah. Okay, so I think actually the orientation is perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, the the left. I was. It was hard for me to decipher earlier on the last uh, keys um, whether the orientation changed there as well, but it doesn't look like it. That's that remained consistent. Oh, okay. So that's okay. And like right now, you have to now memorize new sets of shapes because I did. I certainly did not see giraffe earlier. Yeah. So um, that, like I said, I personally did not. Uh, appreciate that. I would have not been like that. I would have preferred a more consistent set of shapes. Mm. By the way, thank you for giving me a high school. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, okay. Just keeping your back. <laughs> no, 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 I appreciate it. But now that I understand it, it's usually only one or left or the right was changing in any new phase. Do we actually have a new high score right there? Oh yeah, yeah. we do. We're number eight. <laughs> How'd this have happened? <laughs> well, because apparently you kick ass. <laughs> Would you like to rate the game? The way it works is... Um, I got 23. Oh. It's tied. 
Darn. Uh, the way it works is obviously you're working in joint with Frederica, so what would be preferable is um, you know you rate on her account. Okay. But what we do is we'll copy all your information as we're streaming this, and I then didn't think that actually. yeah, basically. So oh, okay. So uh, let me just look at the. So I'm gonna do overall last. That yeah. Makes sense to me? That makes a lot of sense to me. Okay. So and while it's technically. No? Okay, so while well, Frederica deals with her technical issues. I found the game pretty innovative, actually. Maybe that's just me, it's going to be entirely personal impression here. I found it fairly innovative. What is this? Is it out of five or out of four? Five, it's out of five points, and you okay. can tell, you know, the more stars you have, the better. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Should I be clicking stars here? Yeah, I sure. Go too? ahead. Okay. Um, well, that means my score is going to be counted twice. Because Fred's going to be... I I'll reset it back to not uh, an A. Yeah. Ah, well, okay then. <laughs> so, I found it fairly innovative. I want to go four. Um, just because you got a lot of things going on. Shape changing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to really explain innovation. Um, at least for me when I see it, but I kind of like it. I personally like the orientation yeah. aspect of it, to be honest. Okay. Four, then? By force four? I'm it's your rating. Four. <laughs> well, I just wanted to, like, oh, am I, like, way off base? But okay, I'm just going to do my own thing, then. Um, it was pretty fun. I'm not... I, see, here, this is hard for me, because I'm not normally a puzzle game person, um, and I don't want that to bring down somebody score just because it's not what I would normally do. But it was fun because I was trying to do a lot of things at once and I enjoyed the challenge. Um, but then it did get a little frustrating trying to relearn things every time. Um, I want to go three on this. I mean, mind you, my comment about the fact that you had to re-memorize the shapes, obviously it remains consistent throughout. Right. It so, remains consistent throughout a like a playthrough, right? But every time you lose mm -hmm. and you lose a lot, if you're as bad at it as I am, um, <laughs> it gets confusing pretty quickly, right? Um, theme, it's theme as in the shape shifting, mm -hmm. or the looping guy. Uh, well, yeah, everything was shape shifting. Um, mm -hmm. You had four different shapes um, each round, and there's multiple shapes within it, and the pieces did reassemble themselves. I thought that was pretty nice visual. So, numerically? Numerically? Uh, I know, I'm discussing before I get to it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> um, so I think it hit the theme pretty well. Five. It shape-shifted. It either shape-shifted or it didn't. <laughs> I'm getting to it. I'm just trying to get feedback. The graphics were fun. Um, it flowed well. Very pretty. Um, it's obviously not you know, a triple A game, but I don't know how you make a triple A game in a weekend. Um, I found the graphics pretty good, actually. I want to give it a four. Okay. Um, audio, audio is getting a three. The music was good. Um, the sound effects weren't bad. I don't know. You heard some of the sound effects. Yeah. I want to go three on that. Um, I don't know how much humor there was, other than the humor in trying, you know, the game laughing at me. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, that I was not exactly a fan of, to be <laughs> honest. Um, it just, it didn't seem like a game that focused on humor, so it's not going to get money points on that. I mean, feel free to leave us as NA as well. Okay, then it's getting NA down there. Um, mood? I mean, what the hell is mood? Um, well, you decide. What do you think? <laughs> uh, one criteria we've been using was mood is either narrative or atmosphere. So this yeah. is a very clean game. Too. It is. Yeah, you knew exactly what you had to do. Not much in the way of narrative, but you knew what you were doing. It got its game, you know, it got what it wanted. I'm giving it a four. Okay. 
So overall, overall, yeah. <laughs> uh, for a game that really frustrated me, I apparently have ranked this pretty high. <laughs> uh, I think so. It was a good game. Everything worked the way it was supposed to, and I think it worked the way it was intended. Um, and the design seemed good for what it was, which was a puzzle game. Um, I'm gonna give it a four. Okay, overall, cool. I think. I think it was a good game. I enjoyed it as much as I could enjoy a puzzle game. Um, and I think they did a really good job. So, and that's it. I'm going to bail. No. <laughs> Do you want to type in your comments yourself? <laughs> yes, I'll come type in my comments myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, 